Hello, welcome back. So today I have decided to do another challenge. I'm going to be recreating one of my subscribers, Luke again, and her name is Liana. She kindly sent me some photos on Instagram. They don't look easy, so I'm definitely up for a real challenge today. So I was hoping she was gonna send something easy, but she hasn't. Okay, so this is the photo that she sent me. Okay, so we've got two tone colours, eyeshadow going on here. So on one side, we've got more of a mermaid vibe, blue and green situation. And on the other side, we've got more of a sunset yellowness. Um, kind of a similar colour as what I did in the last video, but she's done a cut crease. Thanks, Liana. Um, I hate cut creases, but okay. I believe she's used the Stacey Marie palette. I've got loads of palettes in front of me. They're not just all Revolution. I've got the Beauty Bay Become Magic because it's a purple and now I want to go in. Feet on the Ground palette made by Mitchell. The Birthday Kate, the Heartbreakers, Sweetheart. We've got the Mermaid Heart. We've got Tasty Avocado, Chocolate Cherry, Creme Brulee, and Princess and the Frog palette. So if you're interested to see how bad I do this or how well I do this, hopefully, fingers crossed, then carry on watching, hit subscribe, and yeah, let's go. You know what, I'm actually interested to see how long this will take me because this looks like it's gonna take me a long time. So it is now currently five past five on the dot. Oh, let's go. I'll probably forget to tell you what time it is at the end, but okay. I'm gonna start off with this eye for a change. Uh, I've already put the Beauty Bay eyeshadow primer on and I've carved out my eyebrow a bit. So we're going to start off with the mermaid bluey yellow greeny side. I have no idea the methodology of what she's done to this eye step by step. I'm going to take a huge guess. She started off with the blue on the outer corner and then she's gone into a, a deep green into the crease. Very defined cut crease and like a lime shimmer on top let's just go with that okay so dark blue i need to try find my darkest blue she could have possibly gone into a blue like this obviously it's not the same palette but this is the cursed shade from the beauty baby magic and i wanted to you know get these palettes out because it's just been such a long time since i last used these palettes specifically we're gonna go in the cursed shade and try and blend it out with a lighter blue i don't know if she's done that but I can see slightly, she's got a light blue under that dark blue. It could work. So, should I start off doing the shape first? I think that would make sense. She's going quite winged out. I can't do winged eyeshadow looks. Um, and you know what, at this point, I think she told me on Instagram she didn't really Con she didn't really concentrate too much on blending first put it down she just patted on where the color was and then sorted out reapplying the colors after i think i think it might be a bit too much blue going on here but this blue at this beauty bay eyeshadow palette is gorgeous get up here a bit and then smoke it out possibly Okay, so I am going to go into a lighter blue now. So I'm still in the same palette and I'm going to take... What's that blue like? Yes. So I'm going to take Bewitched. And with the Bewitched shade, I'm just going to go above the Curse shade. Okay, so this is the moment I think I need to go into a green. So goodbye, Book of Magic. Hello, feet on the ground. Show us what you got. So I think we need to go in. I'm putting this green into my crease. And look at it now. I don't know if this is the right green for it. So we got something that going on. I don't think it's the type of green which is used. I don't think it's that similar. So I will probably go into a different green in a minute. Try and blend this green out. It looks like she's going very high to a brow. 
but I have a lot of eyebrow space I think like my space up here is just so high so maybe I do need to blend it upwards you know what I've got palettes everywhere it's doing it bloody everything right princess and the frog there is a specific green I want to go in here so it's called frog this frog is a shimmer but I want to put it in the in a corner just so we've got some shimmer we got going on like that and we are going to cut this don't you worry it's probably the worst eye look i've ever done i do apologize liana for, for offending you with this horrible representation okay so Crease time. I'm going to go in the Alley Girl Pro Conceal shade 5 Fairies. I'm going to cut the crease. How, how far has she cut it to? She's cut it to about, it looks like it stops here, so quite a lot. And this is the moment where I could make it or break it, so here we go. I'm not going to talk in this. That was intense, that was so intense. I think she's gone in with a mustard colour in the inner corner, so I will take a small brush and go with this mustard colour, um, a very small brush there, and just pop that in the inner corner bit. It looks like it's above the greens, above the green slightly. I was gonna go in with brunch, but honestly, I think this shade from the Mermaid Heart is more buttery and I think that might go on well sit on better with a cut crease just a bit there she's gone in a really lime green color so I will go in the tasty avocado for this and there's a shade called pear pear is gonna go straight into the inner corner sorry if I keep looking down I'm just concentrating looking at this photo Pear. this is looking nothing like the photo okay so for my inner corner i'm gonna go in the creme brulee i hot revolution palette there's a shade called custard there's a few shades in here that i don't like but that custard shade is really nice Ooh, yes Okay, so we're moving on to the other eye now. Let me get my palettes together. For this eye, we can see some dark purple on the outer corner, so I'm gonna start there. I was gonna go in my creme brulee shade burnt, but this is just terrible bit blending. I don't like that shade. So I will go in my Beauty Baby Good Magic again, and I'm gonna take Voodoo. And we're just gonna start packing it on for now. I feel like this is going to be too dark though. Possibly too dark so I will go my Heartbreakers Sweetheart shade. There's a shade in here that I do like, it's this purple here. I mean the, pur the dark purple could work actually, the Voodoo shade and I could use the purple and the Heartbreakers shade just to blend it out slightly. I always find the out corner is the most difficult part doing eyeshadow. I don't know why. Okay, so now we need some pink going in the inner corner bit. So, chocolate cherry. Is this, yep, chocolate cherry shade Maraschenko. Maraschenko. This shade here. And I'm gonna focus this on the inner corner into the crease.
Okay, so for the shimmer, I'm going to go into Chocolate Cherry and there's a shade called Pop. Just gonna take this shade and pop that here. Just out on that outer corner, but I, you know what, already I think I'm preferring this side. Maybe because it's on my good eye. I'm also gonna go into the Heartbreaker Sweetheart and take these two shades in the middle, they've got like a bit of glitter on, and just pop that there. She's gone in with an orange, so I'm going to take, yes, I'm going to take Mus Muscovada in the I Heart Revolution Creme Brulee palette. And I notice she's got a bit of orange, just a bit of orange going on here, but it needs to be more peachy, so I will take this shade here you know what you know what would have been perfect for this unicorn heart glow whimsy let's take some whimsy that's better and then for the inner corner go into unicorn heart glow again and go into myth myth and then i'm gonna take custard and put it on the bro hat bro bro bow Bravo. Ridiculous amount of time that took me that took me so long to put the lashes on. I used the Coco Lashes Shape Baby G. Right, I'm gonna quickly whiz through this. So primer, I'm gonna use the Monu Skin Illuminating Primer. And I've been enjoying this. I got this from my rocker box. This is a bit where I can relax now because honestly, eyeshadow, eyeshadow, eyeshadow takes me forever. I mean, the time we are at now is 10 to 7. So we started this at 5 past 5. Foundation, I'm going to go in the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Shade number 3 Neutral. For my concealer, I used the I Heart Revolution Heartbreakers Concealer Shade Custard. Just gonna go in my Heartbreakers I Heart Revolution Powder, Radiance Powder. Kind of counterproductive of using that primer, but doesn't really matter, does it? At this point. <laughs> For a bronzer, going in with the Too Faced Sun Bunny. Get this all bronzed. How nice would this makeup look be for a festival though? I keep mentioning festival because it's the only thing I'm looking forward to this year. So for my blush, I'm gonna go in the Milani Luminoso. Might take a bit of L'Oreal Paris Peach, Lives of Peach as well. Dip those two shades in with each other. We're dipping into everything today. It's just one of those days. And it doesn't matter if you've got a lot of blush on because we've got so much going on the eyes anyway at this point. Does it really matter? No. Of course, if you want to like calm that down, just go over at foundation. Okay, so for my highlight, I'm going to take this highlight from the chocolate cookie. No, birthday cake cookie. Because it's got a nice little peach shift to it. Look at that. Stunning. Okay, so for lips, I can see a bit of what she's got on her lips, so let's have a look, shall we? You know what? She's staying nude, which I quite like because, um, yeah, we've got a lot going on. To stay nude, we shall. I'm going to go in my Primark shade Toffee lip liner. For the actual lip, I'm going to go in the W7 Major Matte Lipstick Shade Exposed. Put that in the middle, that's what we're talking about. Mascara on the lower lash line. We are going to go in with my new one, what I've got. This is the Marc Jacobs. I got this in my rocker box. I'm just gonna go with a misguided pickup liner shade, no drama. Unfortunately, I just don't have a green liner to use, so I'm just going with that for now. Okay, so I'm pretty much done. I mean, I haven't really done much to my brows. I've just, 
I've just stuck them up in the air. Do they really need doing? I mean, the, the eyeshadow is doing all the talking. I honestly don't think my eyebrows need doing. And I'm not just saying that because I've been filming for like two hours. I'm gonna finish off with some chocolate cherry spray. But I have summer chocolate cherry in our lives. Mm. It is now dead on seven o'clock. Wow. Dead on seven o'clock, two hour makeover, we're here. Okay, so here are the eyes. I'm not too mad about it. Right, let's go with the photo. Come on, Liana. I can see it. Okay, so looking at this eye, I wish I added more orange onto the lid, because I cannot see that, because the lashes are in the way. So I kind of wish there was more orange. And on this side, I wish I put more of that lime green shimmer in the inner corner but it's not terrible i think i did pretty good um i'm not mad about it i mean yeah it's all right this side's a bit iffy okay so that was my take on liana's makeup look thanks so much liana for sending your photo through i hope i did okay i hope you approve so yeah i really had fun going into my palettes honestly if you could see the state of my desk right now palettes everywhere. The palettes that I'm happy to go back to is the Beauty Bay, Book of Magic and the Feet on the Ground palette. I've done so many videos on a high heart revolution it was just time to throw these two in the mix especially because they are quite recent and these two palettes are so good. This is limited edition now I don't know if you can still get this. Impressive this palette is, absolutely impressive. I'd love to know Liana if you've got any of these palettes what I've picked out to do your makeup to do my makeup not your makeup beast of a palette if you want to get into some greens absolutely love it and you know what i'm actually happy i'm glad i went in some old i Heart revolution palettes in my collection for instance the creme brulee i haven't popped this out on my channel for absolutely forever there is some nice shades in here but there is some crap shades in here um the shade torched don't use that shade just don't don't put your brush in that shade. Custard. Custard makes a beautiful inner corner and a brow highlight. So I enjoyed that. I enjoyed going into Tasty Avocado again. I'm actually glad I've done some green and blues. It's been a while since I've done a green and blue look. And I did say in my makeup goals that I would, you know, wear more green. So here we are. Birthday cake. It was nice to get this out again. Don't forget, if you want me to try any out of your looks, message me on Instagram. I'm just at Mortifay. Same as my YouTube, uh, just send me some photos and I can just pick a photo that, you know, it would look like I could do. So yeah, so yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there. If you don't wanna miss out on my next upload, hit the subscribe button down below. I sure appreciate it. And yeah, I hope you have a lovely day, night, wherever you... I can't speak, it's been too long. I hope you have a lovely day, night, wherever you've been talking about what the hell am I saying? I hope you have a lovely day, night, wherever you time watching this and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.